Upon launching the Procreate app, you will be greeted by a welcoming screen showcasing the Procreate logo. It's a brief moment of anticipation before diving into your creative adventures. After the welcome screen, you will find yourself in the gallery view, like you see here. I have a bunch of palettes open, so never mind those. You won't have those. You'll just have this one right here. To get started, you want to tap on this little plus button up here. And then you're going to pick a canvas size over here. And I always just pick, you can pick screen size, which is probably easier because it's going to be a bigger canvas to work on. But I always just pick square. And then the pinch, you pinch with your fingers, just like you do a picture on your iPhone, to move that around and zoom in. So the first thing we're going to do now is we're going to tap this brush button up here. And it's going to bring up all your brushes. There's a lot of them to go through and there is no time in the world for a video to go through each brush. So that's just something you get to play with as part of your art artisticness. Is that a word? I think it is. So let's just go to painting. Then we'll pick a round brush. So I'm already, you can just click on them like this. So I'm picking on the round brush. And then over here you have a color wheel. It's a white dot right there, but it'll pull up a wheel of color. Yay. And yours will look different right here because I have palettes already made, which we'll go over later. But as far as right now, you can drag this little button around and it'll change your colors and you can drag it around here and change those colors. But you can also go into deeper, there's lots of deeper uh, colors, but we'll just stick with the wheel for now. So let's choose red, this color red. So then you can, you choose a red here. I said that already, but here we go again. And then you can take this circle and you can make it different colors, different shades of red, light, dark, whatever. Okay, so you're gonna choose that color. So here's your color. Go back to your brush and then you begin. Look at that. You say you don't want it that big. So you're gonna e erase that by taking two fingers. Whoops, that was one finger. Take two fingers to tap and it goes away. You want it to come back, you take three fingers and it comes back. Gone, back, back, gone, back. But say you wanted that smaller. You come over here, this is your brush size, as you can see there. We'll just make it huge. We'll make it smaller, is that what I said? Yeah. So we'll just draw whichever. Say you don't want it that bright or that um, you want it more transparent. So right here is your opacity scale. So you'll bring that down and you'll try it again. You see how now you can see through it a little bit? Okay. We're going to get rid of those. So just play around with all of those and you, and you, I mean, you can even get to the point where you're buying your own brushes and importing them in here or, or you're making your own. Um, like for instance, I'll just show you one that I had made. I made a rainbow one. So I'm just going to do black here. So I made this rainbow brush. And then with we'll go in how you can fill that in later, but I'll just do it real quick. And my pen stopped working. But I'll just do it real quick to show you. So I'll just make the rainbow. And what I'm doing here is dragging and dropping colors. I move the color, I want purple. I go up here to this little circle, I hold on it, and drags down and drag it to where I want it, and let go. So 
stay tuned for the next session.